Bad news for beach lovers. Just as tourists are traveling to Florida, Mexico, the Caribbean for a little spring break fun in the sun, a monster mass of seaweed is on a collision course with some popular beaches. NBC Sam Brock reports. Surf, sands, and seaweed? Enormous mounds of brown, mucky macroalgae are now floating towards Florida. It's been like more and more, and like sometimes you cannot even get in the water because it's all in the border. The popular shores of South Beach are only speckled with this kind of seaweed called sargassum so far. But in several weeks, that's likely to change a lot. The fresh stuff is lighter, the dead stuff is dark. Dr. Stephen Leatherman is a coastal scientist at Florida International University. He says some of the clumps currently coasting through the Gulf of Mexico and mid-Atlantic will arrive by the end of March and last through the summer. We can see it on the satellite data. We see it. It's coming in masses, huge masses of stuff. Leatherman says scientists aren't entirely sure what's caused the explosive growth, but pollution from fertilizer into the Amazon and deforestation in Brazil likely play a significant role. With the current crush of seaweed in Mexico, a potential preview of what's to come. With sightings already this month in Key West, Antigua, and the crowded Mexican resort of Playa del Carmen, preparing for up to three feet of buildup. It's important to note this phenomenon is not the same thing as the invasive red tide. These two things connect? No, they're totally different species. And the good thing about the sargassum is it is not a harmful algal bloom like red tide. In other words, it's not going to affect the seafood, the fish. Uh, you're not going to be hurt. The biggest issue with the seaweed, a serious rotten egg smell, not ideal for tourism. Would more of that influence your desire to come out here to Miami Beach? Yeah. Yeah. Officials from South Beach to Broward County are spending millions to clean up the seaweed and get in front of the problem. In Fort Lauderdale, they're converting it to compost. But there will also be a lot to recycle. Part of the Great Atlantic Sargasm Belt, the seaweed spans roughly 5,500 miles in the ocean from West Africa all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. The sargasm does provide shade and shelter to marine life before it degrades offshore, leaving local governments to clean up the mess.